Welcome to Curie Electronics. So today we are going to write our first embedder program for 8051 based microcontroller. And we are going to use 8089C52 that is the Atmel make 8 KB 8 kilobyte ROM based microcontroller. You need not to know much detail about it. When you start learning microcontrollers or embedded development, it is very important to make a simple program and run it on a hardware to feel the subject and to like the subject. See, once you see the working, then you will have more interest in the subject. So today, we are going to make a LED blink circuit, LED blink. What we are going to do the first program, it is a LED blink. LED blinking, that is what we are going to blinking, spelling wrong. So first we will write a code for LED blinking and what you do, we write the code then we will put it uh, using a programmer, we will upload it in the microcontroller, we will make the hardware and see how it is working. So, the last class we have learnt, what we have learnt? We have learnt the oscillator circuit that is this crystal, this crystal and the two capacitor circuit, this is the oscillator circuit. And here we are using 11.0592 megahertz crystal. Then we have to use the reset circuit. That is this 10 microfarad and 10 kilo ohm resistor work as a reset circuit. And EA that is pin number 39 enable access pin should be connected to positive 5 volt. So the last class we made the microcontroller ready for the application. So today what we are going to do to pin number 21 this is pin number 21 I am going to connect a resistor to limit the current and what we have to do we have to blink a LED so we will connect the LED here to ground. So this is the LED. So this LED we have to make on and off, continuously on and off. Then it will act as a LED blinking circuit. So this pin number 21, it is the second port pin, port P2, port 2, 0 pin. P20 that is port 20. So where this LED is connected? LED is connected to port 2, port 2, 0 pin. Up to how many pins we have? And the port 2 we have 0 to 7 pin, 7 pin. Port 2 pin number 0, port 2 pin number 1, pin number 2, pin number 3, like that. The remaining part we need not to worry at all. Before, okay, first now let us write the code for this. How, how do we write the code? Because this is a, this is a simple program, so we have, so I am writing it in the, on the board. Otherwise, directly we will go to the program. First, what you have to do, you have to include the register file. That is hash include, hash include. reg52.h This is a header file. This is a header file for the particular IC we are using. In our case we are using which we are using that is 89C52 we are using. Then we have to define the variables. So we are going to use the port to 0 pin. So I'll write, that is how do you write, S bit, 
एस बिट एस बिट आई हैव नेम्ड एस वन सिंगल बिट ओके सिंगल बिट मींस आई सी वन पिन वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दैट इज व्हाट एस बिट एलईडी इक्वल्स टू पोर्ट टू सीरो दिस इज हाउ दिस इज व्हाट 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 इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस सेंटेंस वी आर कनेक्टिंग द एलईडी टू पोर्ट टू सीरो थ पिन दैट वी आर so now whatever we may if we make the led equal to 1 our port to zero to pin is going to be 1 if led equal to 0 port to zero to pin is going to be 0 then what we need see led continuously if we make on and off our eyes can't detect whether it is on or off for that we have to provide a delay function that is void delay void delay void see void means i am not returning anything first void uh, you say c function so function okay so this void says i am not returning any value uh, this void says i am not passing any parameter that is void delay void so this is this is this type of function uh, this is called definition of definition Def defining led pin as yes, we are done and next what is there uh, this uh, this functions declaration this is a function prototype okay this is a this we say function prototype function proto type function prototype declaration declaration function prototype declaration void delay now all our application will have of one function one function that is void main void main whatever we are going to do we are going to write within this curly braces void main the void main if i simply write led equals 0 that means our led is going to be off next i'll call the delay function delay this also this is a fixed delay function okay because we are not passing any value to it delay function then led equal to one then what happens this is sufficient to run the program then what happens initially the led will be on again after some time this led will goes off now initially led is off then there is a delay then led is going to get on and it is going to stay in the uh, same state it is not going to repeat so what we do so this embedded uh, applications infinitely should do or continuously should do a function for that what do you do again i'll write it void main this is a main function inside we have the curly braces inside that we'll put a while loop while one this is our infinite loop and this inside this while braces curly braces we have to write led equals 0 then we call the delay function delay this delay function generates almost one second uh, we will uh, not one second we will get a square wave like this on the output pin because of this led delay so this is a half second 0.5 second out of 1 second 0.5 second it is on and 0.5 second it is off that is what when we do led equal to 0 then delay led equal to 1 so now i am not showing you how to write the delay function here you can see it in the program it takes a little time okay to do i have to show you now now what happens in the while loop this while one while one okay it is while one 
this while one while one is always going to be true only so this program is always this this program will be running led equal to zero uh, delay led equal to one this will be keep on repeating millions of times or infinite time loop it will be keep on re repeating so now what we will do we will go to the program get ready it takes uh, times time but when you are doing your first program you should work then only you'll get the motivation to or your enthusiasm or you, you get more interest in the learning process now i am going to launch the microvision for the c51 compiler this microvision 4 5 all are available i had microvision 3 in my system so i'm going to use it next we have to create the project click on project new microvision project we will uh, we will uh, put a name i uh, will just put one new folder what will give i'll give it as led then file name we have to provide uh, what is a file name blink led blink led save it now this is asking select the device which you are using so i am using atmel 89c52 89c51 is here where is 52 89c52 when you click here it will show what is the maximum frequency how many timers how many interrupts all what is the 8k 8k bytes of bytes flash memory then 128 byte on chip ram so ram is less okay give okay copy standard code to the project copy standard 8051 startup code to project folder and add file to the project click no now if you look here nothing you can see here then go to a view click project window so this window has come now what else we have to see now let's write the code for it so i have already made it i'll copy from here so as we saw this is the program this is what my now first we have to uh, save it save it is asking where to save so in led we have to save blink it's a c file so we can name it as blink.c blink.c save it see now it will show when you click here this is the main loop and this is our infinite loop and here is the delay function this delay function what we are we are declaring int i and j two variables and inside the for loop we are repeating this process it's actually in a when you write more code or when you write real applications we, should, we won't use delay like this because it's a time consuming process for or time wasting uh, process for the microcontroller or for the application also so first what is our today's our aim is to see something working using the microcontroller so we have saved this and then one more important thing is there what is that you have to add this file see click here on the project window click this plus sign is there click here then right click on the source group add files to group source add files to group source group one click there then you have to select whatever the file we have made it's already added now if we come back here and come back and see here it is there then uh, one more thing we have to make sure go to project options for target target one so here 
remaining and all you can keep it just like that but the output you have to in the output window click the output okay click the output and select create hex file then only we will get the hex file to upload it give okay now click build target here once you click if your program is correct see it has come without see LED blink zero error zero warning so in the program compile and hex file is generated now whether it is working or not what you can do go to the debug start debug and then debug peripherals go to peripherals io port it's a second port second port zero pin we are changing see here the port 2 so here there should be a change when you run this program so here step over i click all step over see now if you see here this pin the port to zero pin is off again if i click once more i click oh it's on see now this tick mark has come so if i do that this will be keep on repeating the function okay this is done so it is working so if you like this you will be learning many things as as and when required not everything at a time stop the debug function now we have to upload the program so for that i have to connect my programmer so i will show you how to upload the hex file to the programmer for that we should have a programming software here i am using mini pro programmer so when you open the application we will get a interface like this from there here you can select the chip whichever ic you are using see here if you click here you will get all the options so from here you can select the mcu so we are using the admiral 89c52 At 9 s 52 also there we are written the code for c52 so select the c52 89 c 52 select and then click here once you click here you have to select the hex file from the folder we have created blink led give code memory everything is selected automatically give ok now click on program now your program is uploading you need not have the same programmer okay you can get whichever available program you have to you should be able to just upload the hex file to the microcontroller that's it next we'll go to the hardware actual program running hardware when i upload the program you could see this mini pro programmer this this yellow that is yellow orange color LED will be turning on and now the programming is done so it is it is a programming now not completed okay now it is done okay so the same already I have programmed one IC and kept it on the board the last class which we have made see here we have the oscillator part here then reset circuit the manual reset uh, switch that's it the last last class whatever we are made circuit for the reset everything is there now only on the 21st pin i have connected a 100 ohm resistor 100 ohm resistor and the led led other end is going to the ground pin see this blue color line is the ground now i'm going to power the board see now when i, when I power the board you can see this led is getting on and off so we have successfully implemented the led bingling program on the board so i hope you like the video if so please share with your friends and don't forget to hit the like button so we are going to continue the series we are going to learn more program programs on embedded system we will get into peak as well as the arm micro arm 32-bit microcontroller. Thanks for watching.